let's look and see if the cards have something to say about what is going to happen with the GM strike. What's going to happen with this GM strike? Are they going to go back or are they going to continue striking? What's happening with this GM negotiation? What's happening with the GM negotiation? You know, these companies, they get so greedy, they do not want to give workers a living wage, okay? They want to give it all to their investors. Forget the working people that are actually making the money for them, okay? They're irrelevant. <laughs> really? <laughs> Are you going to go build the car there yourself? You best be treasuring the people you have. This is the problem with the country now. Uh, used to be the companies hired people and they were loyal, took care of the people, and the people took care of them and became like a family. Not anymore. They're all treat, treated like red-headed stepchildren that belong to the mailman, <laughs> okay, the milkman or somebody other than the husband, okay? So let's see what we have. What's going to happen with it? Okay, well, let's see if we can get, because what we have here is, uh, to begin with, is, uh, you know, the people at the center of it all are holding their position, okay? They are holding out, holding their position, and saying, we are speaking truth to power, we want our wages we want our benefits okay um, and we need you to cooperate with that okay yeah we want this fulfilled we want this fulfilled we're gonna hold out until we get our demands we want our ship to come in. We've worked long and hard. We have worked long and hard, and we deserve it. Okay? We deserve it. Above it, they say, look, you know, we want our happy family. We want our family life. You guys, you know, the GM, you're making drama. Okay? You're making drama with this. And, you know, again, we, we can sit here and we can go ahead and uh, strike if we don't get our demands. Because underneath of it, GM is trying to control and holding on again, holding on to every penny. I think they said they made eight billion last year and they're too cheap to give the workers their due so again gm is underneath of it trying to hold on and control it they're up there saying look we'll strike if we we don't get our needs met and fulfilled we've earned our wages we want them we can do this drama the easy way or the hard way okay but we want our things taken care of. So going into it, we have, look, be a little generous and let's move this forward, okay? We need a little generosity on your part 
to start moving us through. That, or we can detach, if you're gonna get rid of some of us, if you're gonna get rid of some of us anyway, we'll, we'll walk away. We'll walk away, okay? If you're not gonna do this, if you're not gonna do it in a beneficial manner, we'll walk away. Okay, you have enough resourcefulness to balance this. You know, why are you juggling this so badly? Okay, you can balance this, you can make this work. Okay, so that's what they say going into it. Look, be a little generous. Otherwise, we, we walk out. You guys can balance and make this right. Now, going into the other side, we're, we're looking for, again, okay, they're asserting cooperation. The, uh, and I think that this is, you know, they're asserting cooperation. Look, we want you guys to cooperate, okay? We want you to cooperate. And uh, we've got here the government power. So I take that this is the, uh, <laughs> I think this is the government power. This could either be read as, you know, look, be righteous and, and do the right thing. Or it could be more than likely this is GM. This is the one in charge and the, you know, holding the power and, telling them, look, you guys need to go back to work. Or, or else we're going to put a painful end to this. You know? Painful end is coming. So if they don't work it out, it's going to come to a painful, difficult end. Um, you know, with the stuff that Trump is doing, and when it comes to steel, it comes to aluminum, it comes to all the things, and now they're saying uh, about something about building cars, more electric cars and stuff. And these people, they're saying they're gonna close down a bunch of jobs, and they're going, look, everybody here needs their job. Why are you gonna order a painful end to us? Why are you why are you going to be, you know, again, the Trumpian power? Why are you going to hold that power over us and not do the right thing? Okay. You want us to work, but you want us to work for nothing. Why not do the right thing? Why not do the right thing? Okay. So let's see. How is this going to turn out? How is this going to turn out? Opportunity. Okay. Again, they're saying we would appreciate that you give us some some sort of a opportunity that we can hold to that emotionally we know you're going to you're going to actually put into effect. Okay, and then we'll go perform for you. You know, if you give us this right opportunity, we'll go perform for you. Okay, they're saying, look, don't, don't, uh, you know, be like an affair <laughs> and not be loyal, you know, offering us pie in the sky stuff that's not gonna manifest. We need something that we can take to the bank. We need something to take to the bank. We need some hope, and we don't want to have the Trumpian drama thrown in here, okay? Um, so this needs to be looked into. Uh, and part of this could be the outcome of Trump stuff. Yeah, 
it could be some of this is you know they're it kind of a bit in dire straits because of the tariffs and the other stuff as well yeah in fear mode um, a lot of companies are are shutting down and they say look we need some we need some um, more opportunity okay stand up and take some action okay because you know everybody in the world we all need our we need our pay we need our things so we want some victory so maybe the they are going to have a, some victory there somewhere but it's like it looks like at this moment it's a little bit kind of crisis mode i think the uh the companies are weaking out too because of the tariffs and all of that as well. Um, yeah, so we'll have to see what happens if they're in fact going to get their compensation and what they're asking for or not. So anyway, that's the reading. That's what I'm getting from the cards here. We'll see if they are right or if they are wrong. Um, but of course, the, the new thing with the Iran is not helping the situation any either. These tensions and then the oil prices and all this other stuff that's going on. We just have a lot of crap at one time hitting the fan. Okay. So I'm going to leave this here. Thanks for tuning in again. Please click like. I have to remember to, to do like other readers and say that at the beginning of the video because by the end of the video, you're just like, I've already heard it by click. <laughs> I'm out of here. <laughs> I'm not going to listen to the rest of all this. I heard what I wanted to hear. And that that's it. I'm gone. So I'll try to remember to put this in the front of the video. Thanks for reminding me, people, because I forget about this type of stuff, you know. I just want to get on and do the reading and, you know, hope that people follow through and, and do that without having to be reminded, <laughs> okay? Uh, so I'll see you online. Aho.